Well, if you weren't confused enough already... What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc, where I get to show what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And before we continue with today's video, just a quick shout out to all my current and future subscribers. Thank you so much for the support and making my channel a success. I'm growing every day, I love it, but let's talk about today's topic. The new Coffee Lake CPU have been, uh, CPUs have been quite successful, right? If you can get your hands on them. Well, we knew there was an eight core coming out next year, but we're getting a little more information than that. And the actual motherboards and chipsets for those are starting to be spotted in the wild. Uh, WCCF Tech came out with this article that went over some of the tests they've gone to see with the new uh, 390 chipset. Because remember, the 370 chipset was a filler, right? It's just was something they had to get out to get out the CPUs because they had to have something with more cores to compete with AMD. Even though KB Lake was a great, you know, uh, CPU and gaming, it was only for cores, and so they had to get something out, which is why Coffee Lake got moved up. All that aside, what this article is most interesting to me on is if you go down and take a look at these two SKUs, you see that the 370 supports up to six cores and the 380, uh, sorry, 390 supports up to eight cores, but the 370 doesn't show any Ford compatibility. That's frustrating because what that means is that if you get your hands on Coffee Lake now, you're not gonna be able to get an eight core later, at least on, on the motherboard, or at least that's what it appears to be. So, if you are making purchasing decisions this holiday season, that's something you gotta keep in mind. Also, um, if you do go out and you buy this new eight core refresh next year with this new chipset, the other thing that's hard if you're a, a, you know on Team Blue is that basically, uh, Cannon Lake's supposed to be dropping sometime next year too, supposedly, and if it does, that means that you have another chipset with potentially better performance, better cores, better power, whatever, if you do jump on Coffee Lake at that time too, within maybe as much as like six months. It's hard because I've been talking to people who bought KB Lake online and you know just kind of getting a consensus on feedback. And KB Lake is great for gaming, it absolutely dominates. But most people, or not most maybe, but a lot of people do more than just game, right? You want to stream, you want to create YouTube videos, you want to do more, and so more cores matter. And you bought KB Lake, then you find out Coffee Lake i5 performs exactly the same in gaming, but it has two more physical cores. That's frustrating too. So I really feel for you guys on, you know, you uh, Intel, Team Blue, fanboys. It's rough right now. And it's rough because you have so much good, but it's just happening so fast that every purchasing decision you make, you're second guessing yourself because something better is coming out so quickly. Now, as far as why this is coming out when it is coming out uh, with the new, uh, you know, the refresh and all that totally makes sense because Ryzen's going to be having a refresh probably at the same time for uh, their CPU lineup, and Intel just doesn't have an eight core to compete directly with the eight core from AMD. Yes, the 8700K does perform tremendously and beats out the eight core from AMD, the, even the 1800X and a couple of different benchmarks because of its faster instructions per clock and faster boost speed. But even though that's the case, when you start counting up the dollars and counting up the cores and counting up the threads, uh, AMD is still has such a big, you know, has taken such a significant chunk out of Intel's business that they have to have something directly that they can show that we have an 8-core CPU, consumer-grade CPU with 16 threads to compete directly with AMD. So anyway, guys, just wanted to give everyone a quick update. If you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Get subscribed, hit that red button or my big logo that's going to pop up on one side of my head here. Either way, and we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.